This state belongs to the people. I belong to you. Never has anyone come since the days of Huey Long who bore in his heart and on his shoulders the burdens and the concerns of people. I know what it is to go to bed at night and wonder if your child wakes up in pain at 2 o'clock in the morning that you're not going to be able to get a doctor or medical assistance. I know what it is to see people without food. I grew up in that kind of an environment. I don't want it to happen to anybody. We have Over the years, populism retained its appeal in Louisiana. In the 1970s and 80s, it again dominated the political scene through its latest incarnation, Edwin W. Edwards, perhaps the most colorful Louisiana politician of all. You feel it. When you become a dead man's president, you feel his presence. You don't have to see him. There's something about that man, just like the Pope, that you get cling to. Who built the four-lane highway in front of this facility? Who's building the interstate to Shreveport? Who built the Cajun Dome? Who paved the parking lot at the football stadium? Who's falling in the highway to Abbeville? Who's going to be your governor for the next four years? Edwards governed as an heir of the Longs. He rewrote the state constitution, reorganized state government, used oil boom dollars to increase social spending, and brought blacks into the political mainstream. And he was wildly popular. All right, darling, come on here. Don't you tell your boyfriend about this now. Merci beaucoup. Flamboyant, often outrageous, the target of numerous grand juries, Edwards loved gambling and women and was rather cavalier on the subject of public ethics. Well, I think that it's standard for people at my level in politics to be investigated by the Internal Revenue Service. It's just part of the job. The people out here have all heard the stories of his womanizing, of his gambling, of corruption. Why do they love Evan Edwards? This guy looked at me and said, he doesn't drink or smoke. <laughs> but I really was impressed with the skit that the five representatives of the women members of the legislature did. And, this emphasis on women, this new thrust that we, I mean, this new, uh, this, this new commitment we have, we, this new commitment we have to the involvement of women in the political process. Uh, certainly, they said it very well. The motto from here on out is, up with skirts and down with paints. Many times you'll explain things to people who've just moved into the area and you see this sudden look of bewilderment or disbelief as if to say, you mean your elected officials can get away with saying something like that? And you say, well, sure. And then you have to remind yourself, oh, that's right, they're not from Louisiana. The one thing about Edward, he's never lied about it. You know, if he goes to Las Vegas, he goes. And uh, <coughs> so, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little color. Saying it took one opponent an hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes, Edwards boasted that he couldn't lose unless he was found in bed with a dead girl or a live boy. And he was right. Populist in style, a powerful stump speaker, yet at ease with modern television campaigning, Edwards set the tone for politicians throughout the state. Who was the greatest politician you've seen in Louisiana during your lifetime? My lifetime, it would have to be every time I shave and look in the mirror, I see him. 